Hey, how's it going? My name's Nate Howe, and welcome to the farm. All right, it's finally planting day. This ground has been wet. I'm talking we got three to four days of just rain. And it finally dried out enough, I felt comfortable enough to plant it. The first step to this field that we did is I mixed two ounces per gallon of glyphosate and sprayed the entire field. Now, I only gave it a week's worth of time to die. You'd be better off doing two weeks, but then again, I was pressed for time. The second thing we did was we used a middle buster to plow the ground. Now I don't have a turn and plow, so I used the middle buster because that's what I had. Now if you can see, there's a section of this field that we didn't plow with the middle buster. If you can see behind me, there's a pipe over there. I'm not sure you can see that one. There's a pipe over here. Now there's a sprinkler line that runs between it and I did not want to catch it with a middle buster plow. So we skipped over that section with the plow. Now step three, once I have plowed the entire field, I hooked up my disc. Now I had to go over this about eight times. I only have a four foot disc and a 25 horsepower tractor. It cuts, but it's not the best. We finally got it to the consistency what we wanted. And so I let this field rest for a little bit. I wanted to get it rained on and just let it kind of die before I turned all my seed in it. Now step three, we fertilized and limed the field. And I also got to break in my solo spreader that I just got in the mail yesterday. So we put the lime in the jug of the spreader and I spread it on the field first. Then second, I did not get this soil tested. So I just got a bag of triple 13. I figured it's got a little bit of everything. We're gonna give it the best shot we got. So I put the triple 13 in there and I fertilized the field. Finally, we put the Pennington dual season in the spreader and we spread it out here. Now, Pennington dual season has soybeans, sorghum, buckwheat, and iron and clay peas. So we're hoping it'll come up and the deer are not gonna mow it down. The best part about it to me is it's got the iron and clay peas that if the deer eats it, it will sprout and regrow. So now that we've planted the field, it's time to wait. In two weeks, we'll come back and we'll give you an update on our field and see how far the deer have eaten it off because more than likely they're gonna mow it like grass. We got a good bit of deer population out here. This isn't a very big spot, but I wanted to do something that you could get at Walmart that everybody could do. That bag was $17. Now the lime and the triple 13 I had to get from the co-op, but I'm sure everybody's got a local co-op they can go to and pick that up. Thanks for watching, and before you leave, we'd like you to subscribe down below and hit the little bell to get your notifications when we upload new videos. Uh, it'll help our channel, and it'll help us grow and uh, get us out there for other people to see us. So, we got it planted, and we'll keep you updated. And until next time, we'll see you on the farm. Yeah.